citizens. We're here to serve the citizens. Everyone can hear me? Yes. Well done, mothers. Well done, daughters. <laughs> 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 And they went to the church when they were asleep. And they said, Thanks, Gail. And look, I must say, um, many years ago, many of us here were often given lawful directions to stop doing something. And when we disobeyed, we were arrested. And today, for the first time in my life, I was given a lawful direction to get off the road. And I stayed, and we had no arrest. So I managed to say it also, but I was very happy when Jennifer Howard, MLA of the Ipswich, went to the front of the march. And I thought, well, if they're going to arrest anyone, they're going to have to arrest an MP. <laughs> Agriculture and Environment Parliamentary Committee, and she's a member of the National Executive of the Australian Labor Party. She's lived in Italy for more than 30 years. She's raised two children there, and she co-ran a local business before moving into roles in the Queensland government and the federal government. She's been active around the community as a justice of the peace and working with school P and C's. In 2005, Jennifer played a pivotal role in the establishment of the Ipswich Women's Development Network, a not-for-profit organisation that provides an annual scholarship to a local female student at the former UQ Ipswich campus. And she's also a member of the Zonta Club of Ipswich. Holly. Yes. Would you like to present the petition <laughs> and then we'll hand over to Jennifer to speak. <laughs> So um, I want to say thank you very much to Jennifer Howard for coming along here today to accept our petition. Um, it makes me very proud as an organiser of the Services Union to let you know that Jennifer is also a very proud member of the Services Union. And, um, it, it, it's really, really good to be able to have a politician like Jennifer who's our union member who's here to um, help us in the struggle for women's rights in Queensland and in Australia. So thank you very much Jennifer for coming. Thank you for being involved in the issue that's so dear to our hearts. Um, the reason why we're here is because we feel so very strongly about this issue. And um, I would like to present to you 240 signed petitions and um, 150 online petitions and um, hope that they will assist you to action our demands and try and get the law changed so that we can eradicate uh, wicked slogans from the public view forever. I just think that we should really give Anna a round of applause. obviously still a way to go and we need more fierce women. We need more fierce women to follow in Anna's footsteps. So I just, I congratulate you for standing your ground on the way here. I didn't know I was going to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very proud to be here today to represent um, Shannon Fenton. And she's the Minister for Women as well as many other things. And she was invited to take this petition, but she couldn't be here today. Um, she's a, a very strong advocate for women. And unlike our federal minister for women, she actually is a woman and she understands what it's like to be a woman. And I think that's very important in this debate um, that we're having. 
um, I do have a speech, which I would like to sort of take parts of, because Shannon had a few words she wanted to share with you, so I need more help. Hold on. <laughs> um, Thank you. 